The five best places to live in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is one of the iconic places in the United States. According to some, Massachusetts is the birthplace of the country, and at the same time, it's where the first European settlement was established back in 1620. That particular event is quite significant, as New England today still represents the progressive direction that America's taking. Close to the dawn of the 21st century, Massachusetts had experienced dramatic improvement. It transformed into an art and technology beacon, which is now known as the Massachusetts Miracle. Of course, this renaissance has kick-started various urban reinventions throughout the globe. These days, the greater Boston area is an IT powerhouse, which has already overshadowed different European countries' IT industries. Furthermore, Massachusetts has elevated itself to become a to-go place for those who want to receive a world-class education. Back in 2017, Massachusetts was ranked as the most educated state in the United States by Wallet Hub. That speaks volumes to the finesse that this state offers. If you're planning to move to the Commonwealth state, then this is the video for you. I'm Anne from Pack and Go, and today I'm going to list down all the best places to live in Massachusetts. Watch this video till the end, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's get started. 5. Worcester Are you thinking about where the best place to live in Massachusetts is? Then you should consider checking Worcester. Similar to Italy and Rome, Worcester also shares the same moniker as the City of Seven Hills. These hills are actually among the defining features that the city possesses. But let me remind you that there are actually 15 hills towering the area. But the main ones are Union Hill, Chandler Hill, Newton Hill, Bancroft Hill, College Hill, Hancock Hill, and Green Hill. There are blooming communities and residential properties on and around these hills. And speaking of, the median home value of Worcester starts at $200,000, which is downright more affordable than other areas of Massachusetts. The cost of living here is 10% lower than the state's average. Moreover, Worcester cradles some big employers such as the Hanover Insurance Group, Worcester Polytechnic Institute, and the University of Massachusetts Memorial Healthcare. Here, parents have a myriad of choices when it comes to high-quality academic institutions. As of now, the place has 12 accredited colleges, and each of them has specialties. For instance, Clark University excels in biomedical and biological sciences. Worcester also features alluring natural wonders. Green spaces are sprawling here, but one of the most visited is the Cristoforo Colombo Park. 4. Newton Living in Newton is a dream of many people. After all, it's among those places in Massachusetts that are engulfed by the New England charm. While it is true that there's no affordable housing in this place, Newton is also an attractive area to settle in. Keep in mind that its current median home value is sitting at $883,000, which by all means is not cheap. But with such a price, you would get a 1,500 square foot home in the heart of Newton's historic landscapes. It's also a good deal to buy a home here, given that it's a highly walkable city, especially in the neighborhoods of Newtonville, Newton Highlands, and Nanotom. Recreation is one of Newton's specialties. The place has many parks, which is the reason why it's called the Garden City. It is flourishing in green spaces such as the Chestnut Hill Reservation, a 19th century byproduct of urban planning innovation. And today, this reservoir is a hot spot for people who want to stay fit. It's also included on the National Register of Historic Places. Newton is also abundant in historic sites. By just touring the city, you'll stumble upon charming museums such as the McMullen Museum of Art at Boston College and the Jackson Homestead Museum. The Durant Henrick House and Grounds, a farmhouse built in 1734, is still standing in the city. Similar to other areas in Massachusetts, Newton boasts exceptional schools serving its area. Its public schools rank high on the 1 to 10 grade schools rating with the majority getting a score of 8 to 10. 3. Boston Boston's always an appealing choice for movers who want to experience a vibrant and active city. From world-class shopping centers to diverse cultural amenities, Boston has them all. 
Home to 617,000 people, one could say that this place is quite crowded. But at the same time, it has all the space for you to enjoy and explore its inner workings. Boston has exceptional walkability given the fact that it's the birthplace of the Freedom Trail, one of the first walking tours in the United States. Moreover, it has superb transportation infrastructures that connect all of its parts in a seamless manner. Furthermore, Boston boasts enviable health care services. Many top-rated medical facilities and hospitals are situated within this city. Many people across the globe go here to get treatment from institutions like the Massachusetts General Hospital, Brigham and Women's Hospital, and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Meanwhile, shopping sprees are pretty common in Boston. Go to the Funail Hall and you'll see hundreds of specialty carts, restaurants, shops, and restaurants aggregating there. For families and retirees, life in Boston's never dull. From sporting events to festivals and concerts, Boston seemingly doesn't run out of ideas. The Boston Marathon is conducted every April, while the Boston Calling Music Festival and Art Week Boston are in December. Surely enough, home prices in Boston aren't that low. Average property costs here range from $940,000 and higher, but with all its amenities, such a cost is a sweet deal to take. 2. Cambridge Every time Cambridge is mentioned, people always think about those Ivy League schools and the quaint atmosphere that New England has embedded in the city. These things are entirely real and among the reasons why it's one of the best places to live in Massachusetts. Cambridge is just a short five-minute drive from Boston Center, so its accessibility to all forms of recreation and amenities is not a problem. Since the city has a diverse population, it's not a surprise that it features a spectrum of dining preferences. One of the popular eatouts in the area is Bondir Cambridge, a farmhouse-type restaurant that offers delicacies made from the fresh harvest of New England. Needless to say, Cambridge is all about the big brains. Nobody can argue why it retains the title of the intellectual capital of the world. Higher learning is not difficult to achieve as the home of two prominent international institutes, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and Harvard University. It also made Cambridge a center of technology and innovations. Economy-wise, Cambridge is powered mainly by its schools and academics. Most of its workforce is employed at MIT, Harvard, and Lesley University. Interestingly, there are more than 16 parks in the city, and one of those gems is the 120-acre Alewife Brook Reservation, which is home to Little Pond and Blair Pond. 1. Brookline We all know that Boston is a fantastic place to dwell in, with its booming economy and thriving entertainment scene. However, there's one place just outside Boston that might give you the best day in Massachusetts, and that's Brookline. Technically speaking, Brookline is almost surrounded by Boston, but at the same time, it's a unique address that you should check out. Notable celebrities and individuals reside here, such as Bob Kraft, Tom Brady, and Dustin Pedroia. Even comedian and television host Conan O'Brien was hailed in Brookline. Overall, Brookline features a small town feel. It has a cultural atmosphere and slow paced vibe, which is in direct contrast with Boston. Here, raising a family and walking your pets are all pleasant. And interestingly enough, Brookline also has a big population of educated, career oriented, and young people, which is thanks to its proximity to Boston. You'll also find that Brookline is a walkable neighborhood. There's a lot to see in every walking corner, from bars to clay shops. However, let me remind you that Brookline is quite expensive, especially in its median home value. An average home here costs $933,000. Hence, it's not a surprise that more than half of the population is just renting. But even the rental rates are a little steep too. However, with its high median household income and proximity to various job opportunities, staying in Brookline is all worthwhile. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want more videos like this, just hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.